to our final four. You got me and Flex, and then you got these other two guys. It's not even a question in my mind who's going to the finals, and as far as I'm concerned, it's not even a question in my mind who's winning this thing. Ah. <laughs> the diary. Guys, diary! All right, dear diary, there have been so many bumps and turns along the road to love. Now that I am down to my final four, it's time to see where their hearts really are. Today, Flex and Chi Chi and I are hitting the road. Awesome. Hugs and kisses. Hitting the road. So does that mean we're... That means you guys are out of here. Good. I'm happy. Dave, have a good day. All right, Flex. So I found out that me and Chi Chi are going on our date. She's just been sitting in the back on the back burners. I mean, come on. When we go on a date, he's not even competition. Looks like me and you are going to be on a date with her. That's cool. I figured that. Flex gets a date with Chi Chi. Loser, and I get a date with Sinister, wham, and we basically got our ticket right to the final showdown. Good morning, beautiful. Are you guys ready for our super awesome date? Of yes. course. So I've decided no more challenges. I just want to spend some good old quality time with these guys and get to know them the best that I can. If we get shot with paintballs again, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I've gotten my ass beat in this fucking house for Daisy. I have got a sprained ankle, a sprained wrist. He needs a first aid kit for sure. I've gotten burned by dudes in the house. Ow! Oh, I burned my fucking hand! Ow! Oh. I had an elbow the size of a tennis ball. Oh, oh, oh. I have had my fair share of bullshit from this house. Surprise! <laughs> We're in the middle of the desert, and now there's no road. We're just driving on gravel. And I got a feeling this date might be nothing but trouble. Woo! Awesome! Woo! Mm, yes! Perfect. Oh my gosh! Look wow. at this guy! That thing is sweet. As soon as I see the doom buggy, I'm like, you know what? I might just get hurt again today. So I was looking around for an ambulance. Hey guys, welcome to our off-road playground. We're gonna take you guys on a nice off-road adventure today. So suit up in that new Fox gear and let's get going, huh? I love to go fast and I love danger. An adrenaline rush for me is pretty much like an orgasm. Which one of you are gonna go first? This guy. Woo! Ready? All right, I'm let's ready. Do let's do it. Uh, let's let Flex go first, because you know he's gonna suck, and we'll save the best for last. Okay, don't kill us, Flex. I'm not, I'm <laughs> don't kill try. us! So me and Daisy hop behind the seats, and we get ready to rumble. I want to fucking tear this shit up. <laughs> he is so crazy. Definitely, definitely a turn on. <laughs> Baby, you're fine. Believe me, you're fine. <laughs> Being a little bad boy, I think she liked it. Hold on, you're fine. You're fine. I really love just doing dangerous kind of things with the guy. It's like Bonnie and Clyde. It's so romantic to me. Shit, that is the fucking funnest thing I swear to God I've ever done in my life. I'd honestly be really pissed off at this point, to be honest. I you am. Know. So I didn't even say bye to him. I didn't say anything to him when he left. I don't want to talk to him, dude. Really? Sinister and Chi Chi got some serious stuff to deal with because they are best friends. Man, do you guys fight over girls at home at all? No. Never, huh? So this is never until now. This has never happened before. I need some time to think about how I'm going to separate us two because at this point I f I can't even say anything to him. So I'm grabbing all my stuff, and taking it down the hallway. Oh shit, dude! Yeah. Uh, pretty nice, man. Sinister and Chi Chi have been roommates for like the last two years. This is gonna really start some fireworks. You and Chi Chi had to, had to break it up, man. I had to, man. Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready? I'm ready to rock and show Daisy what I can do. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, for the seventh time, Sock, try this out. Now. I want 
show Daisy a good time. I don't want to scare her too much. So I keep one hand on the steering wheel and one on her lap. Oh, yeah. Damn. Honestly, I wasn't worried at all because I know Chi-Chi's boring and I know he follows rules, so he's just going to follow the track. You know, I'm staying like third gear. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Way fun. Are you ready? This is bumpy. Oh, this is so much fun. Chi-Chi's just maybe a little bit more cautious and that's okay, that's good, but it just wasn't as exciting. Dude. All right, no more driving, Miss Daisy. Now it's my turn to drive, and I'm super, super excited. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. So Daisy hops in, I hop in shotgun, and uh, Chi-Chi, of course, goes in the back in the little child protective seat that we had for him. Wow. Yeah. After her first donut, I was scared and knew I could die. Oh my God, we're gonna crash. We are so gonna crash. Oh my God. I'm thinking to myself, yep, now I know for sure I am definitely gonna get hurt again today. Oh shit. Oh. We're hanging upside down. It's crazy. And me and Daisy just cannot stop laughing at the fact that we just rolled this $100,000 piece of machinery. I shouldn't drive. No, no. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Oopsies. I really just thought we almost died just now, but pretty much that's how I roll. I can't believe that I just tipped the fucking dune buggy. Me, out of all people, of course, in the middle of the fucking desert. Figures. Good. Yay! It was the craziest day I've ever had in my whole life. What's up, doggies? Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. I want to have a dinner with you, Sinister, and Dave. A dinner? We are so lucky. Like dinner? Tonight? So after a crazy day in the desert, I just want to have a warm bath and then have a lovely dinner with my other two boys. Home sweet home. Sinister, move that at Chi-Chi's room. What? <laughs> wow. Oh, you're such a jerk, dude. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you're such a pimp, dude. Got my own shower. Oh, I hate you, dude, right now. No matter how many rooms Sinister and Chi-Chi move away from each other, they still are deeply in love with each other, and they should think about getting married. Have fun in your bunk beds. Asshole. Sinister might be playing a little game, so I don't blame the guy. I still love him. It doesn't bother me. Yo, Sinister, I'll put this in your new king bathroom for you. Why don't you just wipe his ass for him? You know, one is like a rock star deviant, and the other one's like this beautiful angel sent from above that kisses everybody's ass. So when you got those two together, they're going to make one huge ass-kissing rock star. On our little date tonight, it's me versus 12-pack. I gotta let her know that I'm here. I'm confident. What's your glass there, Dave? Oh, I get the real name treatment. Well, I feel special. Sorry. Maybe I should just call you all by your real name now. <laughs> My real name is Derek. Derek Trip is like what I've been called. Trip Lee. Ever. I thought it was Joshua Lee. What? <laughs> what? What did you just say? It's a Joshua Lee. Ooh. Who's that? I asked Sinister what his real name was, and 12 Pack said Joshua Lee, and I was like. That's London's name. I'm Joshua Lee. I'm a real fucking person, man. You gotta stay hung up on this No, I'm not. This little mohawk mascara okay, wear. Baby. Come on over here. Donut eating cash potato <laughs> food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pass the liquor right now. <laughs> I start making fun of London, and you could just see, like, Daisy freeze up. And I could just sense that she still has an attraction for this guy. And I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> Wow, okay, let's change that subject right wow. fucking now. Yeah. When it comes down to it, I feel like I am on your complete level. When it comes to this <laughs> lifestyle and what it takes, I know what it takes. I know he knows what it takes, too. Because he's, he's been there, I've been there, and you've been there. I'm seeing a whole new side of Sinister. He seems way more confident, and I like that. I had a really good time with you guys. Thank you. Um, Dave? Yes. Would you like to join me for a little nightcap? 
Hmm. Boy, Woody. I was hoping you would ask. Some got it, some just don't. Kids have fun. I'm out of here. The fact that Daisy asked Dave slash 12 pack for a nightcap again. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm pissed. Time, aren't we? Well, I feel privileged. You should feel privileged. <laughs> Daisy invites me up to her room and. I am looking forward to just intense, crazy, amazing sex with Daisy. <laughs> I am feeling good. Oh, Jesus. Chi Chi is killing me right now. What are you doing? Oh, I was just hanging out. All right, cool. Chill right there. We'll be right back. I'm not going to lie. Chi Chi is walking a very fine line between sweet, attentive boyfriend and stalker. You guys have a good date? Um, yeah, we're just actually starting our date. Okay. Well, I don't want to interrupt. What a creepy, weird, awkward situation. I missed you, babe. You I had the best time. Today. You better watch that face. For real. I had a really good time with you. Awesome. Thank you. I'm worried about 12 pack right now because every time we stand in a line, Daisy always looks over at 12 pack with these like daydream eyes. I know she likes them a lot. Any alone time he gets with her just sucks real bad. Really, really hot and bothered right now, hanging out with 12-pack. He's sexy as hell. So I really want to see Daisy. So I'm going to camp out in front of her door, and maybe I'll get to talk to her when she kicks 12-pack out. I'm going to camp out in front of Daisy's door. Oh, I'm going to camp out. Look at, look at, he's actually camping out. He is hey, actually this. camping out. Oh my god, oh my god, are you kidding me with this kid? That doesn't seem desperate, but I'm not gonna say anything. Camp out all you want. You're going home, Chi Chi. If this was earlier in the game, I would have told Chi Chi not to camp out in front of Daisy's door, but at this point, I can't help him out no more, man. <laughs> Over it. <laughs> Daisy is looking smoking hot, as always. And I'm gonna get to spend a couple hours, just me and her, and I am just ready to go. Oh, there he oh, goes. He's now in, he's he thinking. A, he needs to camp out in comfort. Hey, you need a little yeah. cooler? Want some oh. cooler, some ice? Oh, yeah. Punch you need some cooler, some ice you to punch hold your back. broken heart? I want to see her now. I love her and miss her and want to see her. I'm gonna, like, sit in front of her door until she comes out. What the fuck is he doing? Staying the night in front of the door has never happened before. Here's the thing. No one's ever done that. I think I saw that in the notebook, actually. Genius move. Fucking assholes. Hey, go. I don't go wash her. I've never been in the master. Oh, my God. I should have brought my Speedo. Uh, no. No Speedos. I just don't want Daisy to think that I'm the immature asshole. So I'm just going to give up on my mission right now and just go to bed. Too bad my name's not 12 Pet. I could be on eight shows. Be fake. Fuck. Yeah, basically the whole time I was up there, she expressed her love for Chi Chi to me. I was like, can you stop talking about Chi Chi while we... I yeah, figured. I figured. I was I like, oh, I love her. My nightcap with Daisy was 10,000 times better than I ever expected. And we connected on mental, physical, every level possible. And I'm seriously thinking, there's no way I'm not going to win her heart. Here's something everybody in the house doesn't know. A few days ago, I get an email from, of all people... I'm glad you showed up. Come on in. Blonde it. Good to see you coming in. Hold on a sec. The email goes on to say that he really has feelings for Daisy. He thinks he might have made a mistake, but the whole thing with the show and the cameras was a little bit weird for him, and I, I can't understand that. I don't know how she's going to feel about this. Yeah. 
Truth of the matter is, at first, I didn't like London at all. But I do have to admit, the way he exited the show, he manned up for that. I know that Ricky's got some concerns about me being maybe the same kind of guy that you fell for before. And as a part of me, it says, like, I am that kind of guy. You I'm not going to fake it to you. I can't. <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest. And, and, and Ricky, I'm not trying to Dude, hurt you. Seriously, this is the most respect I have ever had for you, OK? But I know that she's been talking about you a lot. OK. So I think there's a little bit of unfinished business. So I'd like to end there. Time. OK? Right. I'm glad you made it, though. Come on, thanks, man. I have a feeling that Daisy's still thinking about this guy a lot. What's the password? What did you just say? What's the password? Oh, I thought you said, what's up has been. <gasps> really? Listen, seriously, though, um, I don't know how you're going to react to this, but there's somebody that I'd like you to talk to. But you're scaring me. Ricky, you're freaking me out. Come on in. What? I... I don't know how you're gonna react to this, but there's somebody that I'd like you to talk to. Ricky opens the door. I don't know who's gonna walk through it. <laughs> what? It's London. What? Ricky. I'm going to leave you guys to talk. Hi. Hi. Um, this is definitely a surprise. Um, this is weird. Yeah, no, no. Hi. I'm every freaking kind of emotion there can be. Part of me is really excited. Part of me's pissed. Uh, I guess I have a couple things I, I gotta say to you, you know. <laughs> You're not gonna make me cry like five more times, are you? No, I'm not gonna make you cry. Anymore. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you cry the first time. I, I don't know how to say this exactly, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I was wrong to think that, it, you know, you, you know, to assume that this was, I should have realized that it's not just a game. Maybe I, you know, was wrong to think that, you know, everything was, was, was fake. I didn't realize that I, 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 had, I had wounded Daisy. I didn't realize I'd hurt her really like that. When I laughed, I laughed because I thought everything was just fake, you know? I thought that it wasn't real. And uh, I'm learning, you know, just how real it is. Okay, I mean... And I can't... I'll be honest, like, I can't make you, like, I can't, like, promise anything because I don't, like, fake anything. I don't want you to fake no, I don't, but I, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think at the end of the day I was, like, the guy who should be, the, like, the last man standing. You know, I don't expect any relationship I'm in to be easy because, you know, I'm not looking for easy. I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking to live an exciting life and to have a good time with somebody and go through ups and downs together, so. So, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do. You know, you can send me, you can say no, send me back right now. But uh, I came out here. I don't really know what to do right now, I mean, to be honest. Yeah, no. um, but you got to understand, like, I'm walking into, like, the firing squad right now, you know? Like, I'm, I'm not going to be, like, well received by these guys, you know? Like, I'm not going to, it's not going to be fun. Okay. Um, I think, um, I need to talk to Ricky maybe just for, I, I don't know yeah. really where, what to do. I'm really glad that you came back. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, like, scared a little, like. Okay. I was kind of hoping for more of like, a, oh my God, it's so good to see you, you know, yay. I don't know what to Come in. Do you want to talk yeah. for a little bit? You missed it. Oh. Yeah, just, just for a minute, brother. Thanks, man. I'm really confused right now. This is the deal, okay? There's unfinished business there. The ball's in your court. I know, I don't know what to do. Though. That's okay. <laughs> You know, he decided to leave. So I mean, if he wants to come back here, he better prove his ass off and fight for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> that, that, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. That's smart. The truth of the matter is, Daisy is not really focusing on the other guys. She's thinking if London was still here, everything would be perfect. These guys are all second fiddle to London. I still think he's the wrong choice for Daisy. So I figure we bring London back, Daisy figures there's nothing to this guy, and then she's gonna notice that she does have some pretty good guys right in front of her. I just don't want to, you know, I don't know how the other guys are gonna feel about that. How do you think they're gonna feel? Like, what's the point? Because I'm still trying to figure them out, too. Yeah. Do they know he's here? Oh, no. <laughs> but I got somebody to tell him. Who? You. Oh, I'll me. be with you, I'll be with you, I'll be with you. You're gonna make me tell them? <laughs> It's gonna, I don't know really what to, can, can, I just, I, I sort of, uh, I kind of need a moment. I'm really confused, like, I'm just, I'm really I'm confused, Ricky. Hey, okay. Five minutes around London, and I can't even walk straight. I don't know what to do, except that there's something that I have to do, and I'm really not looking forward to it. Hey guys, would you come in here for a second? Guys, you wanna come in here for a sec? <sighs> I just wanna let you guys know that something really, really unexpected happened to me today. I'm really very overwhelmed. I'm completely confused. But someone came to see me today. I'm just thinking, like, please, no ex-girlfriend, nothing stupid like that. Could you come down here for a second? No, not this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I wanted to fucking run over there and tackle his ass like a defensive end. Who the fuck called London in the first place? Where everybody starts thinking all these crazy things. I was the one that called London, and I was the one that suggested he come back. I always knew Daisy liked London a lot, so this sucks. I just believe that there's some unfinished business. Why don't we bring everybody back? We'll just call Cage and all those guys too, you wanna? We could just bring them all back. Well, hold on, hold on a second. This is, this is, let me tell you my, let me tell you my thinking, okay? We're fucking having our four guys here that are down for anything, down for Daisy, and all of a sudden London pops up? Fuck you, Ricky, if you called out. I don't give a fuck, that's bullshit. Daisy has mentioned a couple times that she had some feelings for London, and London and I have spoken. and I know that London has some feelings for Daisy. I think London's a great dude, but I ain't packing my bags and walking out on you. This does not mean that London is back in the house. Of course it does. I am so pissed off right now because of all the stuff I've been through for this girl. And she's still thinking about this local band douchebag. I need everyone to listen to me right now, okay? The bottom line is, you guys are awesome. But he's awesome. I could have used a vacation at home too. All I, hold on a second, all I want is resolvement. That's what I want to know, and more importantly, it's what Daisy wants. I want to know that Daisy has resolvement. Thank you. I'm gonna show up. I need some time to figure this out. London, you can stay here for now, and I will see you guys later, okay? And we get to hang out with London. I know it's coming. I know I'm gonna get it a little bit from these guys, and I'm gonna basically stay here and uh, deal with the firing squad. Just wanna kick him right in his fucking head. Fuck you, London. You fucking weaseled your way in there, you fucking asshole. And I will see you guys later, okay? And we get to hang out with London. But it is nice to see you. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Peachy. I mean, guys, like, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to, you know, I don't, I mean, I, I don't expect I can't you do to. can't do it right now. All right, right on, man, I got you. London coming back into this place has just turned it upside down. London, he's a quitter. He quit here once before. We're going to break him down, make him quit again. 
Oh man, I don't expect anybody to like fucking, you know, be cool to me now or anything. Like I knew I was kind of walking back in the firing squad and I don't expect anybody to be like, you know, okay with it. Um, well, I think you should start by me and you can fight in the ring and then we can cook a dinner. I'm through a lot of shit so far to stay here, dude. I still feel that, you know, she's gonna pick somebody, not that somebody who like, you know, went through one of the, you know, the most challenges or anything. She's gonna pick someone who's right for her. Someone's gonna make her happy, so. But he's gone. Got your boots in the closet. The brown ones? Yeah, cool, man. Thank you. I don't know what to say to you. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I like all, I like everybody here, you know, and I don't want to, like, fuck anything up for anybody. Well, I you felt, are. You're really fucking it up. But I, I know that, basically, I know I know how pissed, like, you guys must be, and that was something that, like, I really fought over, like... I wonder if they're going to bring Fox back, too. Fox. Huh. Um, probably bring Fox back. We should probably just start all over with 20 new guys. Let's bring them all back. We'll just bring them all back, and then we'll have a whole other thing. It'll be sweet. It's just an ongoing cycle. I love it. London, welcome back. It's good to see you, Flex. She just doesn't deserve a guy who's gonna get up and walk out on her. And if you're gonna do it once, then you'll probably do it again. Nah, it's something I'm trying to work on in my life, man. They're gonna give me shit. They're gonna, they're gonna be pissed at me, but like, and what are they gonna do? Like, you know, stick my head in the toilet bowl or something, you know, throw me in the lockers, whatever. It's, you know, happened before. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want to come back to LA and stay in a fucking mansion and get fed for free and everything? Whatever, about dude. that. You can take to my room, dude. I got my own room. Well, man, thanks, dude. No problem, dude. I'm really nice to London because I like him, and especially if Daisy likes him, I support her in all her decisions. So I'm gonna be nice to this guy. I'm gonna let him bunk with me in my room. You got a good heart, man. Here, I'll yeah. show you where your boots are and where you're Honestly, dude, like, I just felt like I got, like, you know, offered a second chance. Dude, it's all good, man. You don't gotta explain to me, yeah. doggy. Thanks, man. As explained, you come here. This is what you sign up for. If you want to be here and you really like me, then you need to let me figure out which one of you I like. And you all have to be patient and willing to fucking, you know, ride it out. Come in. Hi. Hey, I just want to make sure you're all right. Thank you. So um, I know Daisy's a little um, hurt because some of the guys are pissed. I want to go make sure she's okay. I'm going to go up to her room and let her know that I got her back and support her. I appreciate it. And you know what? You guys are my main focus right now. You guys are the focus. London has to prove himself to me. I want the best for you, just like Ricky. If it's not me, I'll be super sad, but we're here for you, Daisy. Like, Good. I'm a real friend. I want you to be happy. I want the best for you. I'm here for Daisy, Ricky. Like, bottom line, I swear. I'm glad you're here. I, I really appreciate the fact that you just came up here to check on me. I've, that's awesome. I really need that. Mm. I will see you later. Okay. Thanks, Thank you, sir. It's all right, Daisy. Um, Everything's going to be good. Chi-Chi made me feel a little better. He can come off a little too much, but he's definitely always there to make sure that I'm OK. And I like that. Thank you. But like I said, there's a lot of guys in this house that I haven't left. And if you want to be here, then you got to damn well prove it. Okay. And I really try to be strong to let this guy know that I am not going to be a weak person. I'm sorry I wasn't here for everything, you know. And I know I got a lot of making up to do. You did. I know. It really sucked. And it pissed me off, and it took me a long time to be able to, like, get over that. And so if you do it again, it's going to suck even more. I'm going to go. You have to send me home. If you want me to go, I'm going to go. Okay. If you eliminate me, I'm not going to go. I'm just going to hide outside and wait until it's all over. Like, throwing stuff at your window, like, hey, is he letting me back in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna leave again. I mean, it would take like you know, I have to uh, shave my mohawk or something. You know, as long as uh, you know, as long as she wants me here, I'm gonna be here. You're the kind of guy that always breaks my heart, and I don't want that this time. I don't want to be the guy that breaks your heart. Okay. I'm not always that kind of guy. I don't see you. Okay. There's something about London that every time I'm around him, I get really nervous, and when I get really nervous. I get <laughs> really clumsy. Are you okay? Are you... <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> 
no idea what to expect going into elimination. Ricky and Daisy make me stand away from everybody. And I guess it's because I'm not officially in the house yet. I feel my biggest competition right now is London because I heard Daisy talking about this guy several different times, and now he's back in here. When London showed up to the door, of course, you know, a little bit, a little part of me was nervous. If I get eliminated tonight because London's back, I will take him with me by beating his fucking ass. Going into tonight's elimination, I have four really cool guys. And if London, he says he won't break my heart. But how the frick can I believe him when he's already done it before? I can't take it. I can't. <laughs> Well, guys, kind of have a feeling that when London showed up, it blew everybody's mind. It doesn't necessarily go against you. This is to put some finality to the whole thing. These four guys have been through a lot. I know. And every chain that they have earned, they deserve. Yeah. As you guys all know, I do respect your opinions. How do you feel about London being back? I feel that uh, in order to be the best, you got to beat the best. So I'm willing to take him on. It's a competition. You can bring back whoever the fuck you want. I'll take out anybody. Um, I'm glad to, to tackle this problem right now instead of the future. OK. If you want to be with me, you're going to be with me. If you want to be with London, so be it. It's up to you. I mean, I think you should have stayed home. Um, I fought my way to get here, and I'm gonna keep on fighting until you kick me out of here. I've done everything I could through the hills for this girl, and London just waltzes back in. I don't know if he's just looking for a place to sleep and some free food or what, but it pisses me off, and I hope he goes home too. <sighs> London, you quit on me, and honestly, I'm scared to give you another chance. I don't know if I can trust you. I made a mistake. Ultimately, London, I don't think you deserve a change. But I'm going to let you stay in this house. Thank you. When she said she's going to let me stay, it was a huge relief. Like, my heart finally just slowed down. It was like the skies opened up and the sun just shone down upon me, and the angels were singing, and it was just like, <sighs> yeah. You can now join the guys on the podium. Life is about taking chances, and apparently I'm gonna take one now. Over there. London's ass being here could definitely potentially screw things up for me. Let's get to the chance. Tonight, either Chichi or Sinister has to go home because Daisy called them out last elimination, and it's just time for them to go. This first chain goes to a guy who never wavers. And his confidence is definitely sexy. Dave slash 12 pack. Will you stay in this house and be my rock star? Till the end. I finally, finally get the first chain. I have been here for nine eliminations, and now my time to shine, I'll be getting the first chain from here on out. This next chain goes to a guy who I have a blast with. And maybe sometimes he gets a little fired up, but he's definitely got some game. Flex. Are you saying this house under my rock star? Of course. Now I'm a little worried because I know me or Sinister has to go home tonight. Sinister, Chi-Chi, the last elimination, I told you this might be the last time you both get a chain. And I definitely meant it. between me and Chi Chi and like 
I knew this day was going to come, and I was pretty confident earlier that it was for me, but now that I'm looking at him in his eyes, he's pretty confident it's for him, too. You two came here as roommates and best friends in real life. The last few eliminations, I kind of felt like I was ruining your guys' relationship. I'm not okay with that. Sinister, do you understand why I feel this way? Yeah. But I came here for you, and you know that. And sometimes I wish you didn't come with me. Or else I feel like you wouldn't have that decision to make. Chi Chi, do you understand why I feel this way? Yes, I do. I know I'm here for a reason. I know that's my chain. And I'm here for you. Chi Chi, please step forward. You have made me feel special since the moment we've met. And your loyalty to Sinister is awesome. Thank you. Daisy tells me how she admires me and looks up to me for being so loyal to my friend. I'm definitely getting this chain. But this chain is not for you. Okay. You're... You're an amazing friend. Thanks. I really hope that we can be friends, but he's not the one. I will miss you. I'll miss you too. Yeah, it hurts real bad because I know I would have treated her like a princess and I would have been there for her forever. And, it's, and it just sucks real bad for me right now. She just told me that she thinks of me as a good friend and I know I am, but I could have been more. Felt like I was supposed to be here. Bye. See you guys. I don't know what to say. Sinister, come down here. In the beginning, I always associated you with Chi-Chi. But you know what? It's over now. Chi-Chi just got eliminated, and I feel bad for him, but I feel great for me because that means that she's picking me, and I'm just ready to show her me, the individual. So will you stay in this house and continue to be my rock star? You know I'm here for you. I'm down for that, for sure. I feel so relieved that the comparison's over and I'm ready to just be all in. I don't know about you guys, but I need a drink right now. <sighs> Toast, once again, final four. Once again. Final four, <laughs> yeah, once again. I appreciate that. End of finding love. Even though I have a lot of fear about London, I'm really excited and sort of relieved that he's back. I really appreciate it. So what do you think of Daisy? She is hot. She is way cool. <laughs> really? When you see Daisy, what do you think of? I think of rocking. I think of rocking out a little bit. Can yeah. you show me some of your rock moves? Yeah, yeah, let me show you a little bit of them. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> so all you fine ladies can catch me on the V-spot. You want to come sign up for my new show? Rock a toe.